Hello. Hi. Hi, it's Roy, <laughs> and this is Daisy. If you guys Hi. haven't seen Daisy before, it's been uh, a while. Daisy, <laughs> it's been a while, right? So yeah. Daisy's joining <laughs> us today to talk about our Wazer. So we have a Wazer sitting over here. It is a water jet cutting machine, and we're gonna. It, we were running it, but we shut it off because it's a little noisy. But we are, are gonna turn it on, and then Kaylee, um, behind the camera there, is gonna uh, show you how it kind of works. And then once it quits, then we'll we'll talk a little bit more about it. But I think we're gonna restart it. Uh, I'm not. Oh. I just started. There we go. Super exciting. I don't know if they can hear us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's way better than watching paint fly. I think it's almost done. I guess it's not that loud. Maybe we're just used to it. Yes, that's the <laughs> I know the people on the other side of the wall can hear it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was done. I think we got the time off a little bit, but I know it was probably super exciting watching <laughs> watching that <laughs> cut. But we thought um, we would talk about it a little bit. I think it's got a couple more minutes, and so uh, we're just going to um, – we'll show you what that looks like a little bit later. But first, what we wanted to talk to you guys about was the um, service that we sort of have here. So Delphi is selling what Wazers, if you're interested in buying one, or we're doing a custom cutting um, program. Thing, service. Right, service. Hey, I like that better. <laughs> and um, so uh, people can send us videos. On, so Daisy's been working a lot with that. And so yeah. uh, we have set up on the computer, but we put it on the TV screen. It might be, oh, I guess, I don't know if it's easier to see there or not. But There's more glare there. Oh, is there? <laughs> so I guess we'll just come here to the computer. So we can start with some kind of a digital file. And in this case, uh, what are you talking about, Daisy? You, you could tell them about it. Uh, well, um, I was asked to make these Rembrandt tulips um, as a project. So I just got on Google and searched Rembrandt tulips and found a picture that I um, thought might work for it. Um, so the photo that I found is the one that's on screen here. Um, and I just took that and basically converted it into a line drawing. I had to do it all freehand, but not really a big deal. Um, <laughs> And then basically took that file and uh, turned it into a file that the Wazer could read. And that's what you're seeing here. This is the, how everything was set up. Um, so all of these pieces were attached to the cutting bed and um, it 
cut it out just like you guys uh, saw a couple minutes ago there. And this is the um, project that I came up with. It's not quite done being soldered, but it's together. Um, so now my next project is basically taking the same thing and making a fusible version of it to put on a platter or a plate or, or anything like that. So. Right. so the service that we're sort of providing is if you uh, like us to cut something out for you, I mean, you can, if you have a file, you can send us a file. If you just have like an idea of an image, uh, we quoted somebody the other day on three inch circles, so they didn't need to send us a, you know, a file on circles. We, we can certainly do that. Um, the, uh, as, uh, Daisy was pointing out that we're using a very specific file um, here. Do you want to oh, show them the WAM software, maybe? Oh, do you have that up? Um, so yeah. we're, we're looking for a specific type of file. Um, it's an SVG file or a DXF file. And if that's not something you're capable of doing, uh, we certainly can do that for you. Like I said, we can convert a file to uh, the appropriate thing. A, um, and then, because uh, the software for the Wazer requires a very specific uh, file type. So, um, oh yeah, this is what, uh, so this is the, the, the actual software that we use uh, for, it's called WAM, and this is what the Wazer, uh, this is how we convert a, a, a file to specifically to what the Wazer can cut. Um, so it gives us lots of options as far as we can um, scale in here, we can duplicate an image, um, we can say where on the cutting bed we're going to cut it. Uh, so we can move it around anywhere we want to do that and cut somewhere else. Uh, we, we choose the material, which of course here we're using glass, right? So we're using uh, specifically soda lime glass. That's three millimeter thick, eighth of an inch, right? Pretty standard thickness for glass. I mean, obviously there's some variation in the glass, but we can actually adjust in the machine where the cutting head is at, So it, which will compensate for... Uh, mm -hmm. Slight variations in the in the thickness of glass. Um, we can cut the um, we can tell it where to cut on the path, and um, it at the end it gives us a a time and how much abrasive it uses. And so if you're wondering about pricing, that's really where the pricing comes from is about time and abrasive. Uh, so we have it kind of calculated out. And so if you uh, send us a file and, and want us to quote your price, we can get you a, a quote within. Um, a few days probably. Uh, we wish we were, we're trying to get quicker at it, but um, as you guys probably already know, uh, most of us here at Delphi have several jobs and responsibilities. Yeah. Daisy's the assistant <laughs> store manager, uh, so she's got to be doing some store stuff. And, uh, and and then we work this kind of in between is how, it, how the Wazer is working. But uh, again, if you have questions, you feel free to reach out to us. Um, do we have a specific email for that? For this on our website, mm -hmm. so if you search Wazer for you with the number four, and I'll put the link in the comment section below when we're done, um, we have got some basic details with the setup fee, max size that we're able to cut yes. from a piece of glass, and we are having you guys email classes at delphiglass.com for a quote. Oh, yeah. All of that detail is there as well. Yeah, yeah, the large of a piece of glass we can put in there is 12 by 18, so we, we really can't cut something that large, right? Because there has to be a little bit of glass around the outside. Uh, so we've been saying 11 and a half by 17, 17 and a half, half, right? So I had Kaylee update that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> we can't really make the image bigger than that. We tried. We thought maybe we could, but it just not. It doesn't really work. So um, yeah. then, um, well, if you guys have any questions today while <laughs> we're talking about this, feel free to reach out to us. You can make a comment in the... Joey's asking, any oh, idea how much sorry. it costs for a small pattern? So, Joy, I think that really just depends on the project yeah. and the image. Mm -hmm. So, if you've oh, yeah. got an example Grab of that. Jen said, oh, well, we could talk about that, right? Sure. So, all right. Yeah. Hey, Daisy's going to go grab one. We just actually quoted a price and, <laughs> um, and, um, and, uh, and, and finished it. Sorry, God, I was like, what else was I going to say about that? And we finished the project. So, uh, Daisy's going to go grab it. So, we can show you that one. That's all cut out. Uh, and then we can uh, let you know what the price was, and then that can give you an idea of what the, the cost is going to be. So basically, these, yeah. Though. Oh gosh, I'll tell you, it's been a challenge for us to to judge on the. Um, uh, what, what we end up really doing is just taking your design and putting it into the software, and the software says, "Hey, it's going to take this long to cut it," uh, and then that's where and that's where we do the math. So. The tool of Stacey's doing. I don't think we quoted that one out just because we were doing it in house, but. Uh, 
Oh, we did not. Like we the can small ones? Out his, uh, comments back to you on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we could certainly do that. Yeah, that's, that is definitely something that we could do. We've so. got the... Yeah, we have the um, right abrasive and time in there. We could probably do that. Uh, um. Here's some. Oh yeah. Ones. Well, Daisy is pulling out our most recent custom cut. Yeah, I can. Well, I can just do it in my head real quick. This is probably going to be probably somewhere around uh, somewhere between twenty-five or thirty dollars to cut to cut it. That's not including the glass. Yeah, that does not include the glass. Um, so. It is somewhere in that ballpark. I'm, I'm guessing maybe 26, 27 bucks, just again off the top of my head, but but certainly probably not more than 30 uh, to do that. Um, there's a couple down here that um, that we were talking about. So this is a piece that uh, that we had cut out for a customer, and uh, you can see how intricate this one is. So again, the more you know. So a lot of times people ask us about pricing and they ask us about size, but what's probably more important is not necessarily the dimensions of the piece but the, how many pieces are we cutting out of it right like how intricate is the, is the design because that's going to mean more time and that's just going to mean that the, the price is probably going to be a little higher mm -hmm. so this piece was 200 um, and is around 250 after like shipping and oh everything yeah yeah included. yeah we had a sh we're shipping this to uh wisconsin or something so yes. so with the shipping yeah we're at about 250 for all that which is glass right uh, glass, our setup fees and everything for cutting it, and then um, just a shipping fee since we are shipping this one. Yeah. Um, if it's not a shipping fee and she was coming to pick it up, it would be about two fifteen or so. Yeah, two twenty um, maybe so, somewhere now. Yeah. So, yep, if that kind of helps you kind of uh, get an idea with the <laughs> with the cost. We don't we don't have a price like per linear inch, which. It would be nice if we could do that. It would be nice so. if it's a, but it's a little more complicated than yeah. what we can figure out. So, um, I'm glad that was helpful. Um, yeah, so anyways, we just had some other projects kind of laying out. This, oh, I wanted to show you guys this one real quick because I did this earlier, and this is actually the reverse of everything I cut out, if that makes sense, right? So, like, when you cut something out, you have the positive image, but you also have a, the negative part of it, right? The part that, you, that you, that's left behind. Yeah, and so, the, the yeah. The, oh. oh, yeah, this one. Where's the... Uh, that's the spider web. Yeah, there's a spider web one, but we had the one that shows... Oh, you don't have the one... Oh, gosh, you can't see it because it's just... Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah, it's I got just it. a half circle. Yeah, so, so you have these, like, negative pieces, and sometimes, depending on how you cut it out, um, I just took the negative pieces and, like, I had to cut out, you know, something in black, I had to cut out something in white, so... Uh, the other one is actually looks more like a real soccer ball where these lines are black and that interior is white. But since I had a reverse of it, I have the same project I can make. Sometimes it get a little trickier. Like if you look at like what, um, you know, what Daisy was doing down here with some of the tulips. Yeah, some of the some of these Christmas trees, the backgrounds, the, the, the negative pieces of those are really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's actually, again, if we go back to the Christmas tree. So this is actually the... Um, the negative space or the backspace of this one here. So so we have this, you know, again, this, this piece of glass with this whole shape that's shaped just like this. So when Daisy cut out this iridized red and this other darker green, uh, they just fit in there just perfectly. Two projects for the price of one. Yeah, you get a couple projects. If you see these are a little more complicated sometimes, but you could, you could probably use some of these for something, right? I mean, imagine fusing you know, fusing this to, we did use fusible glass in this yep. situation. You could fuse this on top of something else and have the color show through. It might be kind of fun. Or, or Daisy's name, right? So, <laughs> so this, the platter here, um, you know, has Daisy's name and the tulips on it. But, but if you look back at this piece of glass, I mean, there's, <clears throat> there's her name. So, um, right? So there's the, that is. is that the big one? Yeah. So I yes. um, Right, so it says Simon again, right? So you can mm -hmm. come in. Oh gosh, no, Daisy, now they know your name and everything. Oh, so man. that's really gonna. Oh, this one is the. Um... It's the inside of. Yeah, it's the, the inside of the O. Isn't yeah. that interesting? And then that's also. Oh the gosh, that's all the o. inside of the O. That little <laughs> tiny piece. Isn't that funny? It's amazing um, how intricate the de the detail can be, or how small the pieces are. Mm -hmm. And I, oops, I know that one of us, that Daisy and I have had some sometimes some slight issues yes. with. Um, yeah, look at like intricate so, some of those lines are in there. And they're still attached and you know, if I'm really careful that they won't break off and I can, you know, use that in my design if I am gonna use that to do another fusible piece. 
um, using those negative cutouts. So we have the option during the cutting is that we can do something called tabs, which means that the piece of glass will stay attached to the um, the big piece, uh, the whole main piece of glass. Uh, a lot of times, uh, Daisy and I don't do that because we like the look of the piece a little bit better. Oh yeah, this one did have tabs in it, and they're hard to. Oh yeah, you can just probably see them in little spots. So you have to break the glass out um, out of the the opening because it's attached by just a little bit of glass, which is. In some ways, sort of nice because we sometimes lose some of the pieces in the bed. So um, if you guys want to come over, we'll show you uh, what the bed looks like. So in here is an abrasive. It's a um, garnet uh, type of stone, right, that's ground up. And so you can see that the, some, there's always some residue of the abrasive up on top of the, of the bed. Um, this, these really uh, intricate tulips, you'll see we're uh, missing a couple pieces. Uh, because we didn't use tabs, and so sometimes uh, because of the water, it'll actually float them off. Uh, they're down here underneath the bed, so we can I think some are stuck. fish them out later. Some of them might got there, stuck underneath. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we attach the glass uh, down with some stainless steel screws into this bed. So the bed, as you can see, gets worn out pretty good, gets cut into. Uh, we can flip the bed over. Uh, I'm we're not really sure how many projects. I mean, we figured it out once. I just don't know off the top of my head. I guess, again, it depends on the, yeah, it depends how complicated on the, the, the intricacy of yeah. the designs and where you place your, um, like, where you place the pieces on the bed. Because you can, you know, move stuff to a corner that's maybe not so chewed up. Yeah. Um, but as long as you can attach the piece and make it secure on there, then you can pretty much still cut on it so um, it goes a pretty long way but. yeah it's a pretty nice uh, complicated uh, sort of machine in that we 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 were cutting out for example the um, nativity set I remember the name of it nice. and um, <laughs> and we were cutting out the nativity set and we wanted to cut out extra animals so we can just instead of just even though we have this entire file that has all of this, this all of these different um, figures in there we can select just a sheep, just a camel, uh, and just cut those out. It's really pretty nice. I was wondering how often we change the bed. We haven't had to yet. And when did we get the machine? Um, oh, gosh. I don't know how long. I don't know. Um, it was months and months ago. We yeah, yeah. We, pretty regularly. Yeah, we, we have flipped the bed over one because there's two sides of the bed, right? So we flipped the bed. But as Daisy and I were talking, we probably were a little premature mm -hmm. when we flipped the bed over the first time because we thought it was getting chewed up and we're like, oh, we better flip it over. But now we realize that we, we could really use more of that other side. We just, um, yeah. I mean, just because <laughs> it's getting kind of chewed up, uh, we have longer screws that'll help hold the glass in place. So it's, I don't think it's that big of an issue, right? No, we, no. Not as much as we think, so. Yeah. We'd have to get you a better detail answer. Yeah, sorry, we, yeah. you know, like I said, I, I did one time we, well, I can, to be honest, we did figure it out one time, but uh, on the one half of the bed, we said, well, we did this many projects on this side of the bed, but then, as I say, now we're realizing we well, could use that bed a little bit more. So yeah. it is, uh, but it is the one of the things that that wears out. The other thing is the abrasive is not reusable. Um, the abrasive just picks up too much, um, you know, residue from the bed breaking down from mm -hmm. the glass, and so we don't you don't want to feed that back through the machine, which isn't good. So uh, the abrasive is we have to use new abrasive every time we're cutting. So. What else do you guys want? I don't know. So we can come take a look at this real quick if you want to see it. I'll um, um, see if we can show you some of the... Do you want to take the orange off since the green isn't done? Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> the green still needs to cut for probably about another two minutes. So, I, so Daisy, who's wise in the ways of the wazer, says <laughs> just take the orange off. <laughs> Pretty exciting. This is still a... A new tool for us. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah, we're learning new stuff all the time, so which is uh, just kind of fun. What we can do or not do. I cut out some. Oh, I cut out some stainless steel the other day on it. So we've cut a piece of aluminum. Uh, it, it cuts a variety of different things. So. Right. So this is that. This is the piece that's kind of left over. You can see again, as Daisy was pointing out. Look at how delicate some of these little lines are in these tulips. It's unbelievable how 
I'll find that that little cut. This did actually real well with this. You can see again our bed is kind of chewed up, so some of the pieces fell down in there. Um, but you know, Daisy and I like hunting them out. It's kind of fun. It's <laughs> kind of like you know playing the operation game where you got to get in there and pull something out. That be is very super careful. Thin right there. I'm, yeah, I know, isn't it? Like even yeah, just for ooh, size yeah. perspective. I know. That's crazy. Super skinny, right? Yeah, we're getting some pretty skinny stuff going on in here too. You can see this one is um, oh, it's kind of wedged in there now, but. So what we'll do sometimes is uh, when we're cutting, if, they're, if it's really delicate, we'll, we'll stop the machine and pull some of the pieces out mm. and then continue to cut. Mm. As I mentioned before, just the, the action of the water will cause some of the little pieces to kind of move around a little bit on there. So um, I'll rinse this off and you guys can see what this one looks like. like the puzzle, you have to figure out where they went again. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I like puzzles, so it's fun. <laughs> Another piece in there, I can't quite Oops. get with my fingers. Yeah, we think, you know, I'm, I'm guessing using tabs in the long run might be uh, easier, but... Especially when the bed starts to get a little more eaten up, um, it might save us a little bit of... But Ed, if you email classes at delphiglass.com with an right image of that right military there. patch, they <laughs> would be able to quote you a price for that. Yeah. And Joey's wondering what the bed is made of. It's plastic. Is it really? Yep, it is some kind of plastic. So the bed is, uh, um, oh, there's a couple right here if you want to just show them this, if they want to see this. So there's two beds right here, right? So you can see how thick they are. Um, they look like this. And so what's interesting is this grid pattern that's on the bed uh, is in the same grid pattern that's in the software. So when we are replacing where we're going to cut, we can actually have it cut down here or over there, which saves the life of the bed. So you're not always just cutting up in the left-hand corner, which is, you know, where it defaults to all the time, so. And if you thought, if you're able to take a picture of it or scan it, then they would be able to look at that image and give a quote yeah. for you. Yeah, you don't need to be, you know, computer, or well, you don't have to be, you don't have to know Adobe uh, Illustrator or, or you don't have to be able to convert a file. Like I said, if you can send us a JPEG, uh, which is just a basic, you know, um, photo, uh, we, can, we can do that. He's got a but. military unit patch. He would like to see what the cost would be. And he's got it all drawn out. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. if you could scan it. I mean, we just need, obviously, get the image in. And then we would need to know scale at some point, you know, how, how large you want it. So uh, that would make a, that would obviously makes a difference. So. But sure, we'd be happy to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what this one uh, looks like after we have it kind of cut out. So um, I'm really, you know. Again, cutting it for the positive image of the um, tulips, but you can see still that, that even this piece of glass looks pretty interesting. Awesome. So Daisy loves this part of it. She's mm -hmm. really, really good at it too, is the, uh, <laughs> hey, let's put this together so it kind of looks like something, right? So, yeah, where's that? Let's see. Where's this little tiny piece coming from? Did that just break off? I think it's this part. Oh, it's probably that part there, there that broke yeah. off. That'd be my guess. Oh, yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, well, it's, mm -hmm. I think you've done this before. I have. Mm -hmm. With this file, too. So there's the, this flower here reassembled. <laughs> Picky. I am picky. I want the spacing just right. I want the spacing. Because my mosaic brain was like going in, like, you gotta have a gap, people, and there needs to be a little space. <laughs> this is great for all things stained glass using mosaic. Yeah, it really is, right? I mean, I think we, um, you know, on the table showed you all three of those things, right? So we just started playing around a little bit more with the, um, with the stained glass. So I'm actually working on a, quoting somebody a price for a 22-inch odyssey dragonfly lamp so um i'll be interested in just myself personally too to see how that that works out and uh, uh what the cost is going to be on that it's a it's a guess at this point right i'm not really sure 
I haven't made it along far enough, just converting the file right now. So. Ed came in late and he would like to see the machine, so maybe we can let it finish oh, up yeah. and we can wrap up with this. Yeah, well, yeah, we can do that. So we'll just... Um, Here's our Waze. I think we've got it set up in our classroom. Yep, and we just paused it because it was uh, had to uh, cut for a few more minutes, and then I'll, I'll turn it back on, and then Kaylee can get a little bit closer, and we'll uh, call it a day, right? <laughs> I just have to hit start. Here we go. I'm going to do something like this. Yeah. This one you can't find any of it. Oh, that was that one. Oh, it's this one, right? Where are those? All those pieces are. Just There's that one. Oh, and then that one's that one. So I think. Oh, it's got to be that one. This might be this, and it just got. Hit by something. Well, I'm going to recut that piece. But this got hit too. This one just got destroyed, it seems. Yeah. The rest are fine though. That was this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have all the pieces. I doubt all the pieces. Yeah, we're using, Daisy was using um, a, so you can use Adobe Illustrator, but um, Inkscape, if you're not familiar, is a free download, so there's no cost to Inkscape, and that's why, if you uh, look here on, um, that's what the, uh, it looks like. So you can trace, draw over something. So if you're familiar with the, uh, yeah, she can just pull them out individually, so... I didn't know it did that. It's just like Illustrator. It, just free. I didn't know that it saw each thing as a there separate unit. Wait, that's because that's how you drew it. Yeah. So I each each one is a separate path. So. Thanks. Yeah, that was it. That wasn't too bad, right? So. Yeah. So we can open it back up, take a quick look at it, so you can see that this is, and so at this point we can slide things away, the, um, we can move the, the head because it's not locked in. When, when we pause it while it's cutting, the head is fixed and we can't touch it, but that looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> There's a little tiny piece, mm -hmm. Daisy. Yeah. I know, I got this nasty big huge band-aid on my... Yeah, that one, it got wedged in somehow. Guys, Anyways, thanks for yeah, us today. yeah. Thanks for joining us. Like we said, classes <laughs> at DelphiGlass.com yep. is the email address if you want to send us your pattern or your JPEG image. We can get a quote, size, yeah. scale, glass. Yep. All of those details are much appreciated. Or if you have more questions about the machine, I mean, uh, we'd be happy to sell you one. So, um, <laughs> or if you just want to know how it works, I mean, feel free to reach out to us. You can also always, you know, email us Facebook at DelphiGlass.com. So. I guess it's good, right? Thanks for joining yeah. us today. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>